Hello and welcome back to the Great White Builder. Today we are back building the Rockies. And now I'm super excited about this episode because we are going to be doing a lot of fun stuff, okay? A lot of fun stuff. Firstly, we're gonna be adding a little bit more residential. We're gonna be cleaning up some of these roads. I really hate this road. I just think it's so ugly and just not at all what would happen in real life. Um, and then we're gonna be building a forestry industry as well. And I'm very excited about that. That's gonna be super fun um, because I also hate this industry. I just think it's stupid and it looks ugly and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, I picked up a few more mods, nothing too crazy. Surface painter um, and some other stuff that I forget right now. Um, I picked up a recycling center that I'm actually amped about as well. Uh, it's a hundred grand, so we do not have nearly enough money for that, but um, that's okay. We're Eventually, we're going to be making a little Publix Works um, campus over in this area. Um, we're also going to be putting a lot of our factories over there, and the reason being is it's kind of away from all of where I want the residential to be. Um, I really hate the industry areas, so I, you know, I like to tuck them away. I think this is a really great spot for it. It's also right by the rail line, so easy access to, you know, ship off the goods that you create in the game and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I am uh, I am very excited about that. These are cool rail lines, actually, to be, to be honest with you. Oh, they're singles. Interesting. It's like uh, this guy... Oh, and then it turns into a double under here. Oh, cool. This guy, the guy who made this, um, a lot of these highways are all... They're actually ramps which I think is a pretty cool idea to be honest with you. Um, and then it comes up because you get to do fun stuff like this and you know, we're gonna keep a lot of them. Some of them we will change, um, but yeah, like I, I do really like these. So eventually when we do upgrade these roads, cause they'll all be used, um, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep this. Cause I think that that adds a lot of character um, into the world that he created. And I, I really like that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click X on that, is right here. For some reason, this bridge starts here, even though it's on ground until about here, until about this random fire hydrant, this bright red fire hydrant on the Mary Cook Bridge. So we are going to add a node here, and uh, make this make a little bit more sense. So then we'll go into our roads. We'll go over here and upgrade. Oh, why is this still on? And upgrade this section. So now the bridge starts here and this just makes way more sense to me. I don't know why the bridge would start over there. It's probably just an error of some sort, but that's fine. And then we can use this spot to come down And bring uh, and bring make our grid a little bit more complete so we are gonna take out this road right here um, and I do apologize to the the valley residents the sunny side residents and the beach residents um, those are very odd names the sunny side it's a weird name um, so you guys are gonna you guys are on your own get out of here and then instead of making this straight and then coming down, we are gonna curve this road and then um, curve this one in. And the reason for that is just, it looks a lot nicer. Um, uh, these straight roads here, I'm not super in love with them. Eventually we will, we will change some of these curves, or sorry, these angles to curves. They just look a lot better in my mind. And we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna add a residential back in here and uh, now we're gonna we're gonna let this fill out make sure that our water pipes are down here okay so they're not completely perfect but that is okay we'll put that there awesome cool so the next area that we're gonna focus on is gonna be over here we we're finally gonna make this park that I talked about last episode um, and we're gonna get rid of these houses right here we're gonna get rid of the wood residence. That that last name kind of makes sense. I knew it would. The Florence. That's an interesting name. The Pine. That's a bad one. The Myrtle residence. Okay. 
we're gonna get rid of these guys. Uh, we're also gonna have to move this rock. And the reason for that is while I was kind of like um, testing, play testing, looking at the thing and I was upgrading all my roads, I realized that if you upgrade this road, this rock disappears. And I don't wanna do that. So what we're gonna do instead is we're actually gonna move this rock right into the middle, just something super simple. And then we're gonna take out these houses. Sorry to you guys over there. Um, you know, I, I, I do love you, but yeah. Then we're gonna take this and because we're gonna take away these uh, power lines because we're starting to build the park now, um, we, we do need power, unfortunately. We're also gonna take out this building because it's lowering land value and I don't like that. Okay, so as these residents leave, now we're going to paint the park district. And now I honestly, I usually don't love making parks, but it's a little bit more fun right now for some reason. And then we're gonna, because my OCD can't handle it, we're gonna shave this down just a little bit. I have a tiny bit of OCD, not enough to clean my house, but enough to play video games properly. And now we're gonna add our main gate to our park. And uh, we're gonna put that, we're gonna put that over here. And the reason for that is just, it's a little bit closer to uh, this main street, this Mary Cook Street. Now that I think about it, there's two Mary Cook Streets and that's not good. So we're gonna have to rename these. Um, okay, so we have, uh, we have, we have a few small things in here. Um, we're gonna add a side gate all the way around because this park, it's gonna be pretty basic if I'm being honest with you. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna come around here and we're just gonna do a circle around, around this rock. And I realized I have anarchy on and it made this tree kind of pop through. I don't love that. So I've done this a few times um, because I keep on clicking mods and it crashes the game. Well, it doesn't actually crash the game. It just adds like, there's like, a little error that pops up that says the mod can't be used. Um, and it's super frustrating. So you'll notice that these are pine trees and I spent a minute in the last um, take, I guess, just changing these trees to generic pine. It was sugar maple um, because generic pine just makes a lot more sense. You're in the Rockies, okay? We're not in, we're not in Ontario. You know, there's no sugar pines anywhere. Now I'm looking, these are 30K, what's this, 40K. That makes sense, 30K is slow, dude. Oh my God, I would not want to do that. Um, and I, I really like the way this looks. We are going to add some amenities in here. We're gonna put this uh, this park plaza right over here. This is this would, would be in the rock, we could place it. I, I want to keep it, like I said before, I want to keep it like you know, as realistic as possible. I know I kind of uh, went off the beaten path in the last episode and did some things that maybe weren't too realistic and you know we'll, we'll probably do some more of those things but you know for the most part I'd like to make it look realistic okay so we're gonna put down this guy here we're gonna put down a park cafe we'll put that let's say here and then we're gonna put down uh, this restroom bam right there and then there's this info booth and phew, honestly we don't need an info an info an info booth, because this park is so small. And if you want the info, maybe just take a five minute walk around this circle. But we're gonna put one down anyway, because it adds attractiveness. And that means that the people that are around, you see these blue houses, green, and then red over here, the people around it like it, basically. Which might be dumb, but you know, it's a game. Then we're gonna look around, just make sure that this all kind of makes sense. We don't need to move uh, this this washroom, um, but we are gonna move this guy right here. Perfect, okay, so it's like a little bit in the rock, but that's okay, because you're sitting out front and you know, where the garbage is, it, it, it's not a huge, huge, huge deal. And then we're gonna move this outward so it's not like clipping. I like that, and then this, perfect. And it doesn't even touch the road, and, and, uh, and I love that. That is awesome. So we're gonna add some trees. And before I add some trees, because every time I do, the game crashes, I'm going to save the game. Perfect, okay. So if it does crash, so last time I tried to do this, I went over here, 
I picked my generic pines and I clicked this guy and it crashed. So we're not gonna do that this time. And now that I'm looking at them, at these these trees, they need to be changed. So we can do that together. And uh, there's not gonna, I, I don't think I'm gonna put a fence around this park, um, but I am gonna put some trees, just lining it. Cause I think it looks nice. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not the best landscaper in the entire world. So a lot of my landscaping might be pretty basic, but that's okay. And like I said, we're gonna go back into Bob and we're gonna change these trees because they're sugar maples. And there's no sugar maples in the Rockies. Actually, are there? There might be, now that I'm thinking about it, because you make maple syrup and it's not like it's just in Ontario. No, there's not, I don't think so. I mean, there might be some, but it's not like a thing. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna we're gonna turn on our brush. We're gonna turn down our brush strength. And we're just gonna kinda, you know, litter litter the park with some trees. Now I hate all these small trees, these medium trees. What do we got here? These are some more pine trees. I do like these. Are there any smaller pine trees? These are small bushes. Green tree. Tree with leaves. Sugar maples. Are there sugar maples in BC? I'm gonna check. Okay, so I just spent about 10 minutes saying that there's no sugar maples in BC, and I just did a quick Google search, and uh, there actually are sugar maples in uh, in BC. So, you know, um, to all the sugar maples I got rid of, I'm sorry, but we're gonna add some more in here. And we're just gonna do it with the brush strength, cause, uh, ooh, that's super low. Cause like I said, um, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, landscaping is my least favorite thing to do in the game, uh, but it is really important and it does make things look much nicer. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that over here. And I don't know why it's adding them over there, but that's fine. So we're actually gonna turn this up a bit more, turn the brush down. So now let's take a look, let's go down here and imagine ourselves in the Chester Hill Park. And it looks great. It just, it looks wonderful. There's so many trees. This is definitely a fire hazard. And speaking of this name, Chester Hill, I don't love the name. So if you can think of a name, write one in the comments and I will change the Chester Hill Park to whatever you say. And if you are watching this and you notice that there's not a lot of viewers, then that's good because you can put whatever you want. As long as it's like somewhat appropriate, I'm not gonna, put any like, you know, actual bad things there. But if you want something funny as the name, totally down. If you can think of something funny enough, I would love to put it in. As long as it's not offensive to people, then I don't care. Put some good, put some good. And there actually is going to be two things to name. We're also gonna be naming the forestry industry that we'll be putting down today. So put that in as well. Let's come up with some good names, okay? Some clever, be clever, be smart. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a park over here, a, a little playground. Um, and we're actually going to move this guy over he here. Now these are super close to each other, but that's okay. We're gonna move this guy just the slightest bit over here. Actually, no we won't. Uh, because eventually we're gonna change these roads um, and then we'll move things around to make it look nice. We're gonna be putting like a parking lot over here as well for this school. Uh, not right now because I don't wanna change these roads. They cost a little bit too much. We're not making a crazy amount of money. Actually speaking of, we need to up our taxes to 12%. If you don't know, 12% is the magic number. Have no idea why. Heard it one time, never tested anything myself. But isn't that how the world works? And then we're gonna add a little playground for the kids. Just a small playground. Let's see how big a big playground is. A large playground. Yeah, let's add a large one. That's fun. I like that. Perfect. 
So we have this large playground here. It kind of fits perfectly. Actually, now that I think about it, let's not do a large playground because it fits perfectly. Um, like I can't put one here. Yeah, so we're actually gonna be changing these this road to a, a, to a, a four way. A four way? A four lane. We're actually gonna be changing this road to a four lane so this isn't actually gonna fit in the future. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it with a small and that is that's okay. Oh perfect. So now we have this small playground here. We have this elementary school here. Um, actually let's try to build a parking lot. I didn't do this in the test run, so you know, bear with me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's let's put this over here for now. I know it's on the main drag. Um, the reason being is we're gonna put a parking lot here and uh, I just want a little bit of space, you know? So I just wanted to, I, I was moving these things around and um, this little segment right here, I just wanted to change this one road in the city to a regular road and uh, we're gonna bring this over just the slightest little bit because eventually again, we'll turn this into our four lane we could do that now just to make this much easier and oh, I think that's what we're gonna do. I really didn't wanna do this, but I think we have to. We're gonna start, oh my God, oh my. So this road is in the way, that makes so much sense. Um, and uh, yeah, we don't have any commercial demand anyway, so. And then we're gonna end it there. I know this is super ugly, Oh, it's giving me anxiety. I hate it so much. It's fine. Um, then we're going to move this a little bit over. It's going to kind of be in the school or in the thing. That's that's just the way it's going to be right now, unfortunately. And then we can move this over. Remember in the beginning of the episode when I said I wanted to keep this realistic? Okay, so now we're back here. And we're going to build this parking lot. Ooh, and now we have to fix our zoning, actually. Now that I think about it. Ooh. So this part of the episode, as you can probably tell, I did not workshop, and that's okay. That's just how it is, and that's how it's going to be. I think it's kind of fun that way. So we're going to bring this road up, and then we're going to go into move it. And can I click these two? Oh my god, I can. That is so cool. And it, for some reason, it brought the school over as well. Oh, true. That actually makes sense. Okay, so we're going to go like this, and then now we're going to click these and move them over. About here. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna take this double, and we're gonna come over to about here. Oh, that, and then we're gonna move it manually to about here. We're gonna take these. And we're gonna bring them. I'm actually going to go back, and we're going to leave it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take this, and we're going to move this over here. Snap it on here. Perfect. And now it looks like the playground is right behind the school. And I love that. Oh, it's actually the same thing, and that's kind of funny. So then I guess we can actually bring this closer. We can turn this just the slightest little bit. Perfect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of parking here, but not before we add parking over here. Space already occupied. So we have to start with our handicap first. We go into roads, let's go here, turn on anarchy, and add some handicap parking. And apparently snapping is supposed to be on with this. I don't know if that's ever worked for me. I don't know. It's okay. We shall learn to live. And this is kind of on an angle. I don't love these. So what we're going to do actually is start it here. And I don't know why it's doing this thing. Honestly, maybe it's because it's not level. 
So if I grab these nodes, I go into toolbox, Ooh, yes, and I go to, uh, to object height, to terrain height. Ah, perfect. So now these should, they still don't. You know what? <laughs> that might just be the way it is for now. And, uh, you know, I will try to figure it out when I can. But for now, that is, uh, I think that might just be the way it is. And we'll add these in. Perfect. And then we'll flip these around. And we'll add these in. And I don't know why it's doing this. And if you have any ideas, please let me know. Because this is actually the first parking lot I've ever built. It is a learning process. And I just hope people use the parking lot, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I don't even care if it looks good at this point. I've just never had one that actually works. And honestly, I could have sworn that, like, this just snaps. Like, when I watch people on YouTube, it just snaps. So if you... Wait a minute. Is there a snapping button here? There's not. All? What if I do that? No, it doesn't. It's fine. We shall learn to live. What if I do alt? Control, shift, shift, alt. Yeah, no. Honestly, as long as it works. And cars are parking. Oh my God, fantastic. Perfect. So, may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. And I, for one, am happy about that. <laughs> Look at all these. All these parents, they look like military officers, honestly, playing. Oh, now they don't. They look like it over here, but now they just look like random people. Okay, perfect. So we have that. Spend a little bit more time than I would have liked to, but that's okay because it's done. It looks pretty decent, to be honest with you. And I, I like it. I like it. We'll add some trees around here. Once we change around the, uh, the roads, we'll do a little bit more over here. But for now, I like this. Um, what we are going to do over here not right now, actually, because we have quite a bit of demand for industry. Um, and we have a, a pretty good, decent amount of money, but um, we are gonna add a little bit more residential in here. But for now, for now we're not. Oh, and we need to turn this all the way down to zero. Perfect, policies. We're gonna make this the main park for now. Um, and we're celebrating whenever there's nice stuff going on. And we're gonna recycle garbage too, cause that sounds like something that's good, that, that smart people do. I really hate this. But once we change around these roads, which may not happen right now, all of this is gonna fix itself. I wanna make sure our zoning is good over here. Perfect, awesome. So now for the main event, and this is taking me a while to get there, and I do apologize, but we are going to make an industry area. We're gonna do forestry, cause that's pretty simple for now and uh, yeah the area that I've chosen may not be one that you think would be good for forestry even though everywhere is gonna be good because it's in the mountains but and we're gonna we're gonna cheese the game a bit over here but we're gonna do right here and the reason for that is because it is flat and in the mountains it's not flat like I didn't even know that these contour colors existed I just like, look, green is high. This is brown. This is, this is, this is high over here. You know, this is super flat. This is really good. Um, you know, it gets really high. Even over here, you can see like, you know, a hundred meters. It's crazy. You can't really build anything over there, but you could build something right here. Now you may be noticing, maybe like, hey, there's no trees right here. And like I said, we're, we're cheesing the game a bit. So we're gonna go over into our large trees, or sorry, these ones, our content creator trees, 
and then we're gonna go over to our generic pine and then we're we're just adding a bunch of trees over here and you may not like this and if you don't let me know um, but with forestry like you you kind of can do this and you know we're gonna say it's 2024 we're gonna say that they've been growing these trees for a while because they knew they knew that we were gonna come over here and we were gonna make this an industry area. And the nice thing about this industry area is that because it's flat and it's so long, we can just have everything kind of on this one road. And I, th I think it's gonna work out quite nicely. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go over to our industry roads. We're gonna upgrade this road right here. And then we're just gonna send it out to about to about there for now and this might grow this might shrink but for now it's just gonna be this road um, and I do like this on the other side of our town um, that way we're not mixing this industrial traffic with our residential traffic I think that's really important we can kind of see how these roundabouts behave um, like I said uh, like I said I do like this being on this side it is a giant cul-de-sac right now one day because this would honestly be very dangerous um, because of the forest fires one day we will bring this road and come down and meet up with this road that day is not today it's not very large um, this is honestly also a pretty like long road to get out on as well like you have to come all the way over here and now you're on the main highway like I don't know yeah but it, it would be for safety anyway so now what we are going to do is just bring one road out for now about 21 meters and this road length again a lot of this stuff is going to change but for now about 21 meters and then we're going to bring in our first building which is where is it am i tripping So now what we're gonna do is we're going to paint this an, an industry area. And we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna go down a bit. And again, this might change, it might grow, it might shrink, but for now, this is what we're doing. And we're gonna place our, this is what I was looking for. We're gonna place our main forestry building here and now we have access to the sawmill the small tree plantation and the small log yard amazing the next thing that we do need to do is we do need to bring water out here so we're gonna do that now And we do need power, so we just did that really quickly as well. And now we have our forestry industry. While we are here as well, I'm going to take out these industry zones because I hate them. Well, I know we're losing a lot of money with that right now, and that's okay. Our industry is going to spike, and that's you know honestly what I'm looking for. And now we're gonna take this industry road we're gonna turn on road guidelines and we're gonna send it out to about here. So we can add some of our, um, our small tree plantations. So we added two for now. I do wanna put a road right here. And then, uh, and then we're gonna add two more. And you will notice the nice thing about building right here is that we can put other things on the side because this this uh, this mountain or this cliff I guess falls off about here and we could we could put more plantations over here but what I want to do is put sawmills and and that kind of thing over here. Um, so now we're going to be chugging along a little bit, which is nice. We're not out putting anything quite yet, but that's okay. We are going to build a road right here. Um, and then we're gonna make sure our water pipes are looking okay. Okay, so these are all good. We are gonna bring over some small log yards. We're gonna put them right here. And then we're gonna start with our sawmills. 
I'm gonna do two sawmills and then one uh, outdoor warehouse yard. So now these are out of water and that is okay. Let me bring these over right about here. And that's not completely under the road, but uh, now you can't see it, so. Sawmills, plain timber, which means this needs to be plain timber. Perfect. And we're gonna speed this up just a bit. I see that our, our industry, uh, our industry demand, sorry, is starting to skyrocket a little bit. Um, we're also pretty low on money. So we can, uh, we can, we can start getting our workers over here, that were the ones that were employed at this little area. Let's look at, we only have, oh, and our park leveled up. Now we're not gonna put anything in here, but it is nice to know that it has leveled up. 500 people, yeah, we're not gonna get to level three. It's a little bit too small in here. Eventually we will build a nice park. I don't know where right now, so please don't ask. But we will do it eventually. And I do wanna clean this up. Like I said, we are gonna be taking out this landfill site. We're gonna be building a public works area over here. Um, you know, we're not there yet, but it is gonna happen. One thing we are gonna do with this road that I'm very excited about is, uh, even though this road does look really cool and it, it is this like, you know, double lane, one way highway, we will be changing this. What are the, oh, I'm, actually I wonder, what are the speed limits on this? 80K, that's, that's not bad to be honest with you. This roundabout is 80K, that's fast. So usually these, um, for those of you who don't live in Canada, 80K, I don't know how much that is in miles. 100 miles is 60, 65, so 80K would probably be um, 45 maybe, 50. Um, and for highway ramps, that's super fast. Like usually, I think highway ramps would be about 60, so 60 clicks, so maybe like, I, I could be wrong on that. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Regardless, we, we will be changing this to um, a regular two lane highway. And then at this part right here, we will keep in this little bend because I, I do really like this. Um, I think it adds a lot of character to the build. Um, and we'll be cleaning all these up as well. I'm really excited about that. I think that might be one of my favorite parts of the game is, you know, kind of like using uh, TMPE and, you know, uh, node controller and intersection marking tool and making these look really, really nice. Um, but for now, but for now it's okay. So let's see how our industry is doing. We are outputting fair amount of raw forestry. Uh, we're not making any money, but that's fine. We don't really need to yet. Um, we're just trying to produce a bunch of resources. Um, so we, we are going quick. That's awesome. This is good. That means that these two are working right on and actually I'm gonna move this over the shortest bit just because I'm gonna put something here when this starts moving a little bit faster so let's see how we're doing okay so about halfway awesome okay so while that's doing that waiting for it to get to level two I'm gonna finish this area over here now I know we don't have any demand and that's okay um, at level two, we'll be able to add more jobs and so on and so forth. Um, so that will work out well. Maybe we'll add some more plantations across here, actually, now that I think about it. But for now, for now, we're going to bring this up. Now we've been going 16. Uh, this one's going to be a bit smaller. We're just going to go 15 just because 16 won't fit over 10 down 15. And we'll bring this up eight. So half of what our usual is. And then, um, and then over. And you may notice that this is now in the way. So we will just, we will move that right about there. Perfect. And then this road, actually, I think we're gonna leave it here. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, perfect. And we'll add houses along here. And then hopefully these start to uh, to build. This one's here, perfect. Cause then we can get rid of this power line right here. Cause I really don't like the way that it looks. 
Oh, this doesn't need power. That's good to know. Cause it hasn't had power for a really long time and no one's died yet. <laughs> okay. Um, perfect. And then when this builds out, we're gonna cut the power line right here and uh, let these fill in as well. We still have a very high demand for industry, which is perfect. Um, while we're waiting for this, I had mentioned that there was another thing to, to name. If you wanna name the Thornton Forest products, put your, put your idea down in the comments. If you guys don't have anything by the next time that I create an episode, then I will probably just try to come up with some names. I'm gonna try to come up with some funny ones for Chester Hill and Thorn, Thornton Forest. Will I be able to? <sighs> no idea. Um, will I even think about it? No idea. I'm gonna try though. But if you got something funny, again, put it down in the comments. I really hate these trees, so we're gonna change them. And now we do know that they can be maple, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go our favorite capital pines and our generic pine. Perfect, done. It didn't change them. Oh, I didn't click do it. Tree variant was conifer. Pine. Bam. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. And go. So was conifer. So I think that means that if I change these ah, to oak, oak will be pine. And I, I think these just look so much better. It just looks a little bit more realistic. I know they're still very uniform and we're going to add some trees on the other side here just to make it look more natural, but I think these already look much better. And then we are going to change the trees over here. These tree variants, we're gonna go generic pine. Perfect. And now, it, now it's pine. And I, I just like the way that looks. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. These tree variant pine. And it, I don't know why, I don't know if you saw that, but it just changed again. Tree variant was conifer. Yeah, so I don't really know. You have to change it twice. I mean, it's fine. And perfect. So it seems like we leveled up while we were doing that. Love to hear it. V excited. Awesome, perfect. So now we're putting a lot of plain timber and I love that. I think that's super important because you know, you make way more money doing that. Uh, which does mean that we are going to have to add a lot more of these plantations, which is perfect. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stick with the small tree plantations because if I am correct, so how much does this output production rate 6,400, 48, what's the upkeep? $8,016, $8. So actually, maybe we should do these ones. Takes quite a bit more water. Um, these ones look better. These ones will produce more. I'm pretty sure 8,000, and they're just double. Like it's double the size. And then this big one is 11. I think we're gonna keep it to these small ones. We might do a few of these though, just because they will actually produce more for the size. Even though the price is a little bit more, I, th I think, yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. Um, and we're gonna add a couple more of these. Let's do, let's do four more. Um, and then we'll bring this road in right about there, perfect. Uh, make sure that our water is good. Bring it down. Awesome, again, I hate these angles. Oh my God. Okay. And we actually don't need it there. Perfect. And then we got another building over here. So let's see where that is. Ah, the biomass pellet blend. The biomass pellet blend. Let's turn off anarchy, because it's been on this whole time and that's not good. And this is too big. Hmm, interesting which means that we're going to move this over just a little bit. Perfect. And then we can place this. Awesome. And actually, 
I would like to make this as tight as possible. So we're gonna do that. And I know this is costing money, money that frankly we do not have. Building must be placed on a roadside, don't know. Actually, so because I can't, I'm gonna bring this over myself. Perfect, cool. So we will need a bigger log yard. So let's see if we have one of those yet. We have this sawdust storage. So how much, this counts 30,000 units. This is much more. So we're gonna place another one here and then we're gonna place another warehouse. This costs four grand, so we're just gonna we're just gonna let this sit for just a quick moment. And we already have it. I don't even need to sit. Love to see it. And we'll put this right on the other side of the road. And this one will be paper. So this one's timber, perfect, and this one's paper. And eventually we're gonna need, I think we need 4,000 people. Oh, 2,400 for these warehouses. We will upgrade these both to small warehouses eventually, um, once we have the people. But you know, not in a crazy rush right now. Now let's see what we are outputting. Uh, we're outputting a ton of raw forest. Um, we have our plain timber, we have our paper. So we're gonna let that sit for a bit. Perfect, love to see it. And now these have started to build out. Amazing, we can cut this line. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we can cut that line and we can add our residential over here. And we're gonna put residential here and we're gonna put residential there as well. Now, there's a little bit of a buffer around here and that's because, again, I'm gonna change these roads into these two lanes. I think that's gonna work out much better. Um, actually, why don't we do that right now let's let's change all these roads to what they should be because i i'm i may be a little premature with this but it's one of my favorite things in the game is changing these dirt roads over to uh to these real ones all right let's do that now Oh, and we don't have enough money to do some of these. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe we shouldn't be doing it. Oh, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's see how our, how's our hospital availability? Perfect. Um, that's one of the most expensive ones. So we're gonna turn that down to 50%. Perfect. Um, let's turn our fire down as well. And our police. And this is our industry. A higher budget increases extractor processing. Okay, so we'll leave that up. We're gonna take down everything else. Perfect, and let's get back to upgrading these. All right, so we're gonna let this go for just a second and then we'll come back and finish because we don't have any money. All right, perfect. And we're seeing some land value problems. So let's slow this down a bit and see, low land value and you're only level two. Okay, where, let's go into our land value over here and see. So it is super low over here. So maybe we need to add, maybe we need to add like a park or two over here. So we have this small playground and we have one over here. Yeah, so we definitely need to add a park. So let's go into our small parks. Now, you guys may not like this, but remember, you asked for it. I don't love taking out this many homes. We can put it right here. Let's do that. Perfect. So hopefully that should change some of the land value issues that we have. If we go over here, this de it's definitely increased it. Um, and we honestly may just need to take a look at, you know, what what we need. So we have healthcare, that's okay. Our fire safety is pretty bad. Maybe we turn these up again. Um, not one of my proudest moments to turn these down and then turn them right back up, but maybe that had, maybe that's why the land values changed, which is honestly good to know. So let's see if that kind of changes these. Let's go back into our land value. Oh, and they're up. Yeah, so that definitely had something to do with it. 
Um, good to know. Good to know. And this road wouldn't work. So maybe we take this a little bit and we just do that. And then we upgrade this road. Space already occupied. Perfect. And then let's take this and let's stretch it out to about there. Perfect. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so how's our land value looking? There are no issues. Amazing, perfect. So let's go into our schools. We don't have any money, that's fine. So now what we can do is we can go to these areas and we can fix them. So let's do that real quick. Um, let's start down here and work our way up. So sorry to all of these residences. You will be missed. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete these portions of the road. And then we're going to force, oh, <laughs> whoops. We're going to force upgrade on these guys right here. And will this upgrade? It will. Perfect. I don't love that though. So we're actually going to take that back. And we're gonna come in at an angle, like here, perfect. And the reason for that is we can cross the road right here. Perfect. Um, oh, and we have this area over here. Okay, so now let's go back into our roads. And what we're going to do is we're gonna bring these in like so. We're gonna rezone. Perfect. And that is a pretty ugly connection if I'm being real with you. So what we're going to do is bring this out, our road guidelines on, go on freeform. There, looks much nicer. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Perfect, that's there. That's there. Actually, we're gonna leave this. Yeah, we're gonna leave that one like that. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna force upgrade on these. And I don't hate that, so we're gonna leave it. Perfect, cool. So now let's go back into our zoning and make sure that everything looks just the way that it should. We'll take these out, because those don't need to be there anymore. This doesn't need to. That doesn't need to. Oh, that actually does need to, lol. Perfect. Zone, zone, zone. Perfect right there, over here, good to go. And we'll take out these buildings. Sorry, guys. We'll let them demolish themselves. And I think, yeah, I think that's everything. And we're, that's actually, yeah, perfect, okay. So we'll come in here and we'll do that. And that's just gonna look much better, in, in my opinion. So we do have some of these, these weirdos here. Um, like right there, don't love that, but you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens in the world. There are things that, you know, you don't plan for and they happen when you're building cities. And that's just the way that it is, you know, it's it's a part of life, really. It's an unfortunate one, maybe, but, you know, it's... Sometimes there's nothing that we can do, you know. And I do like this. Perfect. Cool. Cool. Let's take a look back at our school. Our school looks good. I'm liking the way that it's looking. Perfect. One thing that we do need here, let's go over to our industry real quick. How are you doing? Now we've been producing tons. I love, love, love that. Um, we may need another one of these guys and that's okay. Um, these are producing so much. I think that's awesome. So we just need more workers at this point. So let's do that. Let's get some more, let's get some more workers. And we don't have any money yet. That's okay. So because we don't have any money, 
we're gonna let this run for a bit until we get some more. And I actually lied, we're gonna take out a loan. And we're gonna put down this guy. And now this should help uh, our worker, uh, the amount of workers. We can have 420. Um, we only have 250 up to 350 till our next level. So I think that's okay. And this is gonna help do that paper output over here. Um, you know, the, the paper's you know up to the roof over here and, and that's okay. Um, you know, and, and this will kind of help this get a little bit busier and and you know kind of move it move it forward. We do need uh, we are starting to see a higher residential demand, which is good. Um, we can start building out over here, but I'm I'm not ready to do that just 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 quite yet. Um, but yeah, and actually we're gonna upgrade this road too, and I know we shouldn't because we have no money, but we're going to anyway. Perfect, done there. Awesome. And actually, we're going to change we will have to change a lot of the stuff around, but for now, we're going to we're going to play around a node controller. And then we're going to come into unified UI. Oh, and I turned this to a 6 lane. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Perfect, cool. So not like a crazy difference over here, but you know, something that's kind of nice. We're also gonna turn this into, what do I, how do I do that? It's over here, intersection marking tool. Ah, yes. Oh, I see. So we're gonna delete this, yes. And then we actually are going to go back to our points and we're going to add a point right here. And this is going to be a solid. And now actually again, we're, we're actually, you know what? We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it like that. I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, obviously, but it's okay. It's okay. Eventually we're going to change these around and these will be two lanes and you know, this roundabout will be a little bit bigger and this will be two lanes because this is going to get much bigger. But for the time being, this works out well. Uh, if we zoom out enough, you don't even see it, honestly. Um, and I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking. Oh, I just noticed there's another road here. Why is that? Why won't this upgrade? Let's check. And it will. Oh, we have anarchy on. Ooh, turn that off quick. Okay, cool. I, I believe that is all of the roads other than over here, but we don't need those just quite yet. Let's look over here. We're losing because we need, yeah. Okay, so we added a bit too many jobs. We need more residential. That's going to be the focus pretty much for this, for the next episode. Um, but for now, I think we're gonna leave it at that. And I don't love the, <laughs> they're looking for people. Uh, okay, let's take that out. Let's take that out, let's take that out, that out. And uh, we're just destroying businesses at this point. But you know what? That's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Now look, they're not looking, not enough customers. So we have so many people, okay. So let's look, we got a, we got a pretty nice thing going on here. I like it. And I think that's where, where, uh, where we're gonna end it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if I did anything that you're like, that would never happen in real life. And, uh, and maybe we'll fix it in the future. But for now, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.